Hi there, I'm Gordon Bonus at the Writing Outside the Margins Literary Festival. Uh, with me right now is Kinney Starr, the Vancouver-based uh, recording artist and recently published author. Welcome. Hello, thank you for having me. You just published a book of poetry and illustration, mm -hmm. uh, How I Learned to Run. Uh, can you talk about the genesis of that, please? Yeah, it was actually quite a nice um, moment in time because I had been talking about my manager who I worked with for 12 years. She's a wonderful woman, Mandy Wheelwright, and we were like um, brainstorming on how to get a book deal. And then House of Parlance contacted me out of the blue and said, hey, we're looking for another artist to publish because they published Shane Koizan's book, Visiting Hours, mm -hmm. that's done really, really well. And it was just a really weird like I say, it was one of those weird convergences where you're like, hey, that's weird. I was looking for a book deal, and now someone called me offering me a book deal. So it was great. Yeah. It was meant to be. Yeah, definitely. You get a lot of inspiration from, well, all over, but I know you get, draw a lot of inspiration from your family. Can you talk yeah. about the, the, what you owe the characters that show up in your, in your, in your stories? Oh, that's really nice. Um, well, the new, my new book, How I Learned to Run, when I... When I was finished with it, like we'll focus on literature because this is a literature festival. And um, so leaving hip hop and songwriting behind, in terms of poetry and illustration, I really, um, the, the background, my background, like my, my grandparents and my great grandparents, there's a lot of ambiguity in my family because there were races that mixed and then it was. For the next generations. Millions of him built this land, cities of his callous hands. Doctors, lawyers, preachers, teachers, workers of the heart and mind. But that Indian stereotype paints a visionless kind. That's why the eagle in the sky is watching as we change our minds. As a MC and a hip hop artist, your work already sort of straddles the divide between literature and music. Can you talk about? When you're writing, do you see say that's a poem, that's a song, that's something else? How do you uh, how do you sort of categorize work that's not very categorizable? I've I've just been learning. Oh, okay, it's better to separate it's better to separate hip hop from from guitar based music from poetry, and so I'm at an exciting stage right now in my career where I have a book. You know, my book of poetry is going to be ready within a couple of weeks and then I have a record that's all guitar based stuff and then I'm doing hip hop on the side. Mm. So I'm trying to separate them because I know it's been a, a criticism that I've received a lot from the industry per se, our funders, because they're like, well, what do you do? Like, it's it's kind of a mix between styles. Well, uh, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I can't be